In the third year, the student moves on to still life. Still life is the perfect arena in which to learn about color, about creating the illusion of different textures, and about creating the appearance of three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional canvas. Each still life has different technical requirements that serve to broaden the scope of your representational repertoire. The first still life is a very simple one, a white ceramic object such as a jug or a teapot and a red drapery. The touch of green complements the red. This simple still life will give you an invaluable lesson on glazing, the application of semi-transparent layers of oil paint that can attain the highest, the brightest red possible for the drapery. You will also learn how to key colors down so that the white ceramic will look white while allowing for a much lighter highlight. The second still life is a tenebrous writing theme where for the first time you, the student, have to go out into the world and acquire a series of objects that are going to add up to a theme. In this case, something to do with writing. Now, one of the typical beginner's mistakes is to think exclusively in terms of narrative. So somebody might come up and say, here's my grandmother's necklace and it's very important to me and I'd really like to make a painting out of it. But it's just too damn small. It, it has no visual clout. As a painter, you've got to think visually. If you want to think only narratively, become a writer. A painter has to think visually. Now, the visuals give a narrative, yes, but the priority is visual. So, you will be taught how to visually mass your elements together and how to arrange your groups in such a way that they appear to recede into space. And the viewers will feel that they could just reach into your picture. And the effect is tremendous. Following this comes a still life with perishables. Now even a very fast painter has to contend with the rapidly changing appearance of fresh fruits and vegetables. So we have to learn to deal with that and the different strategies that are used to produce such a painting. After that, you get into much more elaborate paintings, using perishables, looking for a variety of textures and using the powerful tools of unity and anomaly. You'll come to understand how to use oil paint in many different ways, sometimes dragging the paint, sometimes blending, applying it with a sponge, glazing, and whatnot, opening a vast array of pictorial effects that you, as the artist, will have at your disposal. Beyond this, we teach you how to work efficiently, how to be a professional, and how to do your market research. Because your products are labor-intensive, you must learn how to make elegant and beautiful paintings that you can paint in a relatively short period of time and market at a lower price, selling more of them in order to build not only your income, but also your reputation as a professional realist artist. We encourage you at this time to explore a more modern range of subject matter and looks. Outside of class, there is an extra evening figure drawing session twice a week for ambitious students who would like more experience with a live model. There's also a portrait group that meets twice a week after class. Uh, video documentaries are shown on art history, painting practice, and all kinds of things. Here are some examples of our portraits. The Angel Academy also works with an American sculptor here in Florence to enable the students to strengthen their understanding of anatomy by building a three-dimensional flayed anatomy figure, applying clay muscles onto a sculpted skeleton. These are all extracurricular, outside of class time, and you can sign up for anything that interests you. Beyond the three-year program, we offer two postgraduate programs in which you can choose to specialize in composition or in portrait painting. But these two are vast, vast topics that require their own series of lectures. Naturally, in these, figure painting from the live model continues every day. Here at the Angel Academy, we provide a forum. We give you the information and set exercises to push you far beyond any preconceptions that you may have had in your own personal potential. But please be aware that this is a two-way street. You must invest your labor, and it's hard. 
But if you will put your, your heart into it, along with all the drive and determination that you can muster, I promise you that you will emerge from our school of successful professional painters. Real excellence doesn't come easily, but it can be yours if you're willing to work for it. Coraggio e buon lavoro. Have courage and enjoy your work. Thanks.